when you're a kid and you see loads of presents and you come downstairs, you don't feel like when you're an adult and on, on Christmas Day and you lose the feeling. You look phenomenal. I, I generally like, don't even know how to convey it, but I felt like a kid on Christmas Day and I've definitely, definitely won the lottery today. John mentioned previously that we've known each other for a very long time now. And it's fair to say we've been best friends all the way through. Hmm? Until now, probably. <laughs> um, <laughs> so much so that I consider John to be like a brother. Glynis and John, you've brought up a genuine. I didn't expect that. All that I have, I give to you. All that I am, I share with you. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. For today, for tomorrow. And for all the years to come. Ladies and gentlemen, this bride has had to put up with a guy who couldn't walk for half of the time where we were engaged, who was lay on the floor for most nights and pretty much useless at doing anything wedding orientated. And look at what she's produced in terms of the kind of, you know, the table decorations, the setup, the table plan, which to me started as a plasterer's ladder, which I thought, how is this going to look good in our wedding? <laughs> but she's done an absolutely phenomenal job. And she's not once at any of that time kind of complained about, you know, me not helping out and me being, you know, incapacitated. So I would like you now to be upstanding for the most beautiful girl in the world, my best friend, Lynn Parker. Lynn Parker, now Davis. No one noticed, all saved. To the beautiful bride, Lynn Davis. <laughs>